Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Love for Intuitive Astrology. My name is Michelle and today I will talk about the month of January 2022 for the sign of Taurus. So I recommend you to watch this video if you're your sun, your moon or your rising sign in Taurus. And of course there are some cross watchers, you're welcome here as well to check out what is going on uh, for the sign of Taurus. So, um, before we start, I want to thank you so much for all your support and all your love and your warm comments. I really, really appreciate it. Um, for you newbies, welcome to the channel. Uh, this is a place where we can share, where we can uplift the energies and, um, you know, be a great community together. So if you want, subscribe to my channel, or leave a comment and share your stories with everyone else because um, I made this channel to inspire and to be inspired. So I really value all your uh, ideas and comments and, you know, sharing knowledge. So thank you so much for that. Um, Taurus, what do we have for the month of January? We have a lot of shifting, right? So in December, we already had the shift of the nodes and I made a video about it. So check it out if you want to for each sign I made it. Um, but in January, we have still Venus retrograde, which for you is in your ninth house. And this is the house of knowledge, right? This is the house of higher knowledge of traveling, of, you know, it's of oneness with your higher self, with community, with, um, but more on a cultural, like an intercultural experiences, um, learning new languages and, you know, learning what makes us connected to each other, right? Wisdom, adventure. And when Venus is retrograde here, you know, as there is a part of you that you need to go back to, right? So this is a part of maybe self-love or what are your beliefs when it comes to um, God, the universe? Do you believe in science? Do you believe uh, what is it that creates your belief system, right? We have quite some planets in the ninth house in Capricorn and this is really revaluing what is important to you. So, you know, one of the things that you could do is literally uh, journal, write. Um, what makes it important for you to, um, what makes you connect it to everyone else? And what is important to you? So we're having a bit of a mix of thinking, worldly thinking, right? Like, what can we do? in order to make this world a better place and you you're you're kind of making a plan about it what can you do to make this world a better place so you know on a global level when there was so much capricorn it is time to make a plan it's time to because it's a lot of earth so it's about action but not impulsive action which you taurus you know because you're not an impulsive person unless you have a lot of fire in your chart um but it's all about thinking things through. And, you know, especially with Saturn in your 10th house, uh, you've been working really hard to towards your goals. Saturn is like, hey, because uh, Saturn rules Capricorn. So it's like, hey, what action are you taking towards getting to the next level? You know, and a lot of you have Aquarius in your 10th house. So you're interested in jobs online, on the internet. You you need your freedom when it comes to your work. So, you know, that's why a lot of you are interested in being an entrepreneur or having some kind of freedom that allows you to express yourself. You know, like a little bit of a rebel when it comes to work. Um, yeah, and then really major is that we have Uranus going direct um, and this is happening on the full moon. So we have a new moon in Capricorn on the 2nd of January. I'm going to explain you a little bit better the energies and then we have on the 17th of uh, January we have a full moon in Cancer but also Uranus is shifting stationing direct. The, so 
Uranus is the planet of, um, they, they see it as lightning, right? It's like a lightning. It's very quick, quick thoughts. It's really um, sudden, unexpected, right? And it's related to earthquakes and volcanoes and uh, eruptions, lightning. And before these things happen, something from the underneath was boiling already, right? It's like a volcano. It's been boiling for a long time and then it comes out. So imagine it was going inwards, things were boiling. And when it goes direct, things are like ready to expose. So there could be some really unexpected movements from your side, Taurus, because you have Uranus in your first house. So it could be that you suddenly had enough. Okay, I had enough. I'm going to change. I'm going to shift. And this could start already on the new moon when we have a trine with the sun and the moon in your ninth house. So you're starting to think about what is it that makes me happy, actually? What do I want to do on the long term? What, where am I in my life, right? So, and then we have Chiron in the twelfth house squaring your ninth house so it could be that you know you haven't been willing to to help others as much it was like kind of or like you know voluntarily helping because you were not sure if you would get it back there was a lot of overthinking happening a lot of restlessness um but the good news is that we have jupiter shifting in your 11th house right house of community also rules uh 11th house rules aquarius which is your tent so you might be working towards your own company launching your own products you might become a teacher you know uh maybe you become a yoga teacher maybe you become a language teacher um any kind of teacher right or um you just want to have a lot of fun with your friends, you know, maybe because Pisces in the 11th house means you like friends with a Piscean energy and it also they perceive you with this kind of energy, right? So with Neptune there, you're very dreamy. You like to, you know, fantasize and maybe manifest in like uh, in meditation groups. Um, yeah, so there is a chance of making a lot of new friends, especially at the beginning of the year. You're going to be out and about, you're going to enjoy, you're joining some spiritual communities maybe, or any type of community that makes you feel included, like one. You want to be one with a group. You want to feel like you belong. And Taurus, a lot of you um, actually are, are okay with being on your own, but you're going to be like... You know, a part of you wants to share and wants to open up. And we have Mars in uh, the eighth house. So there's definitely an action. You know, you will feel a little bit more hormonal, <laughs> a little bit more spicy than usual, right? Um, but also you using action, maybe you're uh, taking a loan for something you want to do. Maybe you're talking to some investors to get things on the market. Because you're active, Taurus. You're very active and you're working towards your dreams, right? And this full moon in Cancer is going to happen in your third house, opposing all the planets in Capricorn. And it's really about studying. So some of you will start a study uh, outside of your job, maybe, or some of you are finishing uh, school, like, or starting a school, a university, a course, uh, anything that teaches you something that you can use for the benefit of your future right and because uranus is in the first house for such a long time you might change your mind a few times and if people say then oh you change your mind let them talk because you decide what's best for you taurus you decide okay so three three of pentacles so again, this is about building. So you're building a career. You're building a life for yourself. You really want to do something that means something to the world. You want to be of service, right? But at the same time, you want to feel secure, right? Queen of Cups. You want to have the basis. You want to feel really secure in where you're going. 
and we have the the north node and the south node shifting right so we have um the south node in your seventh house and the north node in your first house trining the sun in capricorn so you're working on your own individual self you might be working towards more self-love it's about owning your inner power when it comes to what you believe is true because pluto is is opposite the moon during this full moon in uh cancer together with sun so where's your inner power and your fate that you can do whatever it is that you want to do so i see a little bit of sadness taurus that um sometimes you have trouble to be faithful like you want things to happen now and it's all about the long term okay so be patient right look at this card we have seven of pentacles so it's about having patience and sometimes you feel like when is my time coming when is it happening right but it's about a stable build taurus you're an earth sign so build slowly tower to your goal and then when you look back you're like this is going faster than i thought right so yeah and you're also we're gonna have a mercury retrograde okay uh this is going to happen on the 13th of january <laughs> uh, there's so many things happening i hope i cover most of it but it's um from this time on don't forget that it's not a good time to sign any contract so if you do a new, if you're going to a new job um think things through okay so if you're going back to an old job this is okay uh if there's no other option read the lines really carefully it's not a good time to buy a laptop or any electronics especially since mercury is in aquarius especially when in this full moon it's conjuncting saturn in your 11th house uh in your 10th house i'm sorry so this has to do with your career and your work so be careful with contracts i would tell you to sign them preferably at the beginning of the month you know and we have all month until 28th of january we have venus retrograde all right so i see death taurus and i don't want you to freak out because for me this is a scorpio energy south node is in scorpio so there could be an ending of a relationship for some of you right or a shift a, a new beginning where you decide to focus on yourself in a relationship or not and um i see also the empress so i the empress is feminine energy and i feel that maybe lately you've been too much in your feminine energy so in january you're going into masculine energy you're gonna move forward you're gonna make plans and you're gonna work really hard to get where you want to be right so meditate be in nature and make these really amazing plans that you have for yourself because Ooh, there's a lot of good things coming for you but the focus needs to be on you right so because we have the death cards there is a new beginning and remember even though i'm an astrologer i'm all for manifesting that's why an intuitive astrologer i believe our thoughts create our reality and the magician is here so after something ends you can decide what it is you want to do what it is that you want to become you are your own magician right this is not for a few people this is not for only the few rare ones the only difference is how hard are you willing to work for it so this is the difference between successful people and non-successful people so successful people train their minds every single day right and they build this plan and they stick to it and if any sign can stick to anything it's taurus you can really train your mind for long-term investments long-term success right to spring partnering with someone could be great progress being made but actually i feel this is your feminine and your masculine being balanced and you're moving forward and look at all these beautiful colors all these beautiful colors purple so you're gonna 
combine your, you know, like I said, you're going to combine your hard work with your spiritual success. Oh my God. I love it. And then last but not least, queen of spring, brilliant, loyal, talented, friendly, right? So wonderful people want to help you. Jupiter in the 11th house. Some people are going to be of great support and are there for your dreams, right? And this is how you can recognize who are your real friends and who are not. So it's about taking action, making a plan, right? And the queen of spring is really, you know, not afraid to stand into her masculine side and lead her way through. So yeah, that's my message for you. I absolutely love it, Taurus. I hope you love it as well. Let me know in the comments what your thoughts are and also subscribe to my channel. I am so grateful and happy you are here. Um, you know, let's make this world, this place, a beautiful place to live in where we all can follow our hearts, desires, our purpose, and it all starts in here, right? And it doesn't matter how you do it. Astrology is a tool, tarot is a tool, but in the end, you always have to remember you are your own person. You discern what's true for you. Pluto in this month, combining with Mercury, the sun and everything is telling you to empower you, right? And I'm here to not tell you to be dependent on me. I'm telling you, you can do it. I believe in you. And let's make this place on earth a place of light and love. I bless and love you so much, Taurus. Bye-bye.